Adam's in Chicago. Hey, Adam, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Good afternoon. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So my mom is facing a foreclosure and is asking me to lend her $50,000 to stop this. And we do not have much time. Uh, I'm looking for uh, to get some a, dis- a different perspective on how to proceed with this and what I should do. Wow. $50,000? She's behind on her payments? Yes. Uh, let me give some how much is How much is her monthly payment? Uh, her monthly payment, I believe, is about a thousand dollars. Now she's not I don't paid have, a payment in four years. She has a mortgage. And Didn't exactly sneak up on her, did it? No, it did not. It did not. Why has she not paid a payment in four years? I thought this was going to work. She's been making a monthly payment on a HELOC. Uh, with a balloon payment, the, it reached its maturity date, and then it was all due at once. Oh. And she did not have the funds. So this is she's not behind on her payment. She has a balloon on her HELOC. Yes. Oh, okay. That's not nearly as irresponsible, but close. Okay. Wow. All right. So what's the house worth? House is worth around three hundred thousand dollars. And what is the first mortgage amount? Uh, I do not have that much Roughly. information. I believe it's around two hundred thousand with this other HELOC at around ninety to a hundred thousand. So she's, uh, wait a minute, I, I thought you said it was fifty thousand to pay it off. She's asking me to lend her fifty thousand. She will up put up uh, forty thousand. Oh, so she has a ninety thousand dollar HELOC. Yes, that's that's called on a balloon. And her first mortgage, you, you think the two hundred includes that? So you think her first mortgage one ten? That'd be about right. I, I believe that's the scenario. She hasn't shared all of the information or been transparent. Yeah. Well, transparency kind of comes with that request for fifty grand. I agree. So, um, so uh, can this, you give her fifty grand? Do you have fifty thousand dollars? Yes, that's all that I have. Okay. So that's why it's 50. Yeah. Um, how old is your mom? Uh, 39. How old are you? 25. She had you when she was 14? Uh, no. You said 39 and 25. 40, 40, 44, my apologies. She's 44. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just trying to catch up here because that my math my math brain went nuts there for a second. How'd you get um, fifty thousand bucks at twenty five? That's impressive. Saving it. Okay. Um, I work full time. Do you have any idea how long this has all been going on with your mom? Yes, I believe last year is when she w- began to become aware of the situation. Uh, she has put it off and not made progress. Have they started they began, the foreclosure proceeding? She went into forbearance, and that's where we are now. We are ending the forbearance. We aren't. And, she is. Correct. Correct. You aren't in this. Correct. Right? She's uh, in so, forbearance, and forbearance just simply means she's paying payments uh, so that they don't foreclose. So they've not started foreclosure. What state is she in? Illinois. And why is is she unable to get a, another home equity loan to pay this one off with a different bank? No. Why? She has no income currently. Okay. Why isn't she working? That is a great question that I have also asked. Because here's here's what we're getting at. You hand her fifty thousand dollars. She pays this thing down. And in 12 months, we're right in the exact same spot. We're not going to have a $90,000 balloon, but she doesn't have a job. She doesn't have any way to keep paying the mortgage she already has. Like there's, there's a pattern here yeah. that's not sustainable for her in her life. And uh, the question is, are we just giving a drunk a drink, or are we really helping someone get sober for the last time? And that's the question you always want to ask yourself. And... Um, I think you're giving a drunk a drink. I don't hear anything in this pattern right now that indicates she's going to do anything. There's nothing in this pattern that is responsible. 
So if I were advising your mom and she came to me and told me her story, um, I would tell her to sell her house before it gets foreclosed on. It, so, needs to, it needs to go on the market this week with a good real estate agent. You can find one at ELPs, endorsed local providers, people we endorse in your neighborhood uh, that are high octane, high protein at RamseySolutions.com. You need to sell this. She needs to sell this house. She can't afford it. She doesn't work. She is. She does not want to sell this house. I it's a two-unit apartment, and she wants to live in one. And take doesn't I don't really care for- what she wants. She's asking her child for fifty thousand dollars. And no, you can't give her fifty thousand dollars. Absolutely, uh, not. that is true. I will advise her to that. Um, ultimately, I've tried to talk with her, and she seems that the she's going to take it all the way to the last. Uh, Day yeah. of this and that's not, and there's process. nothing you can do about that. We all have people that we love that do stupid things, and you and it hurts you to watch them do things that are hurtful to themselves. You cannot control her actions, and it is not your fault if she chooses to do that. She has options. She has had options like get a job. She's had options like refinance this before her credit got bad while she had a job and get rid of this balloon. She had options like not taking out the home equity loan in the first place. She has options now like selling the house. All of these are much better options than going to your own son who's 25 years old and asking him for $50,000. Right. So let me ask you this. Okay. You're not married, are you? No. Okay. Um, can you, I don't, I don't know if you can get your head around this, but if you were married and you had a little boy and 25 years later, can you imagine asking your own little boy for $50,000 because you can't seem to get your crap together? I can't even imagine. No, I, I can't imagine, imagine doing that. that. I can't imagine doing that. I might ask Deloney for money, but I'm not asking one of my kids for money. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I could. I couldn't. Either. I. I mean, I just. There's something. There's something broken here, man. My son went to buy something the other day at Sonic, and he said, "I. I just. I'll pay." And I couldn't allow it. Like I. <laughs> it's not his job. It's my job to feed you. You're my son. Yeah, and it's not your job, honey. You're 25 years old. You busted it's your. Not butt. your job to, to. And you busted your butt to have this money, and it doesn't even fix the problem. If you had $20 million extra laying around and you wanted to give her $50,000, you want to give her $90,000, I'd say, well, we can talk about how to do that. But this is all you've got, and there's just so much ethically and morally wrong with this whole conversation. Please don't do it. Please ask her to sell her house. That's what's good for her, too, by the way.